Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and uh, 2020 has been quite an interesting year. So here we are, it is November 12th, it's over a week after the election has taken place, and we're still not really entirely sure what's going on. Uh, by and large, it looks like it is going to Biden, which we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but that's that's kind of the way it is. But we still don't know what's going on because of coronavirus or something. I, I still don't really understand. No one's giving me a valid explanation of why it is that we still don't understand who the president is. But so for that reason, being that we don't really know who the president is quite yet, uh, it's going to go to court and all this other things. And there's um, massive allegations of voter fraud, which some people out and out just deny. Hey, there's no such thing as voter fraud. That's ridiculous. And other people are, are holding on to that tightly. Here is the main problem with the election as I see it. We, as a, as a people here in America, at this juncture, have lost faith in our election process. Because either Biden wins which is kind of how it's currently set up, right? He has, he has most states. And people like me and on my end of the camp say things like, well, he only won because of voter fraud. And, and there's you know massive amounts of voter fraud happening. You have ballots showing up in the middle of the night in Michigan with like 120,000 ballots that are all for Biden, right? Uh, so you have these things where it, there, there is at least reasonable doubt uh, regarding uh, regarding voter fraud, right? So people on my end, Biden wins, people on my end are going to say he's not a real president. He only won because he cheated. On the other side of that, let's say it does go to court, which seems less likely at this point. And, and let's say it, it does get flipped in court and Trump ends up winning, right? Because they were able to prove cases of voter fraud and they were able to uh, demonstrate with whatever evidence is required in court that that's, that that's what happened. And, and they're able to flip some of these states. Well, then on the other side, you're gonna have the howls of rage of he stole the election. Biden was elected and then Trump came in and stole the election. So he's not a valid president. And either way, it's split about down the middle. You're gonna have half the country super upset about this or not. There, there's almost no way to avoid that. So what does that mean for the future of elections and the country in general because either way you're gonna have half the people who are gonna fear feel severely disenfranchised my vote doesn't count because they'll just cheat anyway or my vote doesn't count because I voted we elected him and then they turned it over in court right that that's that's the rage you're gonna have on either side of this issue and I don't know how as a country you move forward from that I just don't America is a fantastic place to be, in part because we are a constitutional republic. And one of the things that allows us to have peaceful transitions of power, and, and I'd probably say the main thing that allows us to do that, is we have faith in our electoral process, right? You go in, you vote, maybe your guy gets in, maybe your guy doesn't. If he does, great. If he doesn't, well, you know, hey, we can try again in the next couple of years. Um, but when you don't have faith in that process anymore, that, it, that it's not a fair, legitimate, or open process for either the reasons we just discussed, how do you as a country continue to move forward together? Right? I didn't watch it, but I, I caught the cliff notes of Biden's speech that we need to come together and heal now and be a unified country. But that is going to fall on a lot of deaf ears because... How do you do that when no one trusts the process by which we got here? The reason America has avoided internal violent conflict for so long, barring, of course, the, the Civil War, right? The reason we've been able to avoid that is because we've been able to work it out with voting, right? They couldn't work it out with voting, and that's what led to the Civil War. So when as a country, you can no longer vote your way through, the, the reason we don't do the shooty shoot thing is because we can do the vote thing, right? So if we can't do the vote thing anymore and people start feeling disenfranchised, I don't, I don't know where that leaves us. And, and that's honestly, that's kind of scary as, as a country. I love living in America. I like living in a time of wealth and overall tranquility. And, and I, I enjoy that. 
However, uh, those times seem to be about at an end because we're losing faith in how we govern ourselves. So if you haven't considered that, I'd, I'd invite you to think about that and invite you to, if you, if you say, oh, well, Dylan, I know the solution here, go ahead and inform me. I'd, I'd be real curious to hear that. But that is kind of the state of affairs as I see it, as we stand. It, it, it's this very sword of, Dam uh, sword of Damocles type of thing. Uh, where, where it's just it's hanging over our heads and it, it's on a, a thin horsehair and who knows when it might fall. So that's all I got. Sorry it was not an uplifting message today, but that's the state of things. Do brave deeds and endure. <laughs>